Good afternoon, everybody. Apologies for the few seconds being a bit late. My camera just fell over. Well, my camera's stand anyway. Uh, it's all good now, though, I think, although it's a little precarious. So um, <laughs> if, you, if you suddenly see things disappear, we, we'll know why. Okay, here we go then. First things first. Let's have your name, today's date. And this is tile number 10. My goodness, number 10. Where's it gone? Do you know, actually, that, that, and you look through your journal now and you see the, the pages that have been created and things, and you think, wow, actually, look what we're doing. So much going on. So hopefully, um, I'm keeping you all a little bit sane. Um, me, myself included, I suppose, just to sort of get us going. Hi there, everybody. All right, are we ready then? I'm in with my pencil. And okay, deep breath. Just you know, thankful actually it's colder inside than it is outside today. So I've just had a quick wander outside and I'm just quite thankful that I don't need my coat so much anymore. It's, it's nice, isn't it, to, uh, to sort of have that bit of a feeling. So if you've got a garden and you've been out there today, then that's brilliant, great. Okay, so as you can see, I've put my dots and if I look at the thickness of my pencil, it's um, eh, about one and a half sizes, just to sort of you give a... Oh, Hubby's cup I just made. Don't tell my husband that. Hub... No, I, don't make, I don't make his tea or his coffee. He makes mine. Oh, Sonny and Stevenage. That's nice to know. So, it's quite nice, isn't it? It always feels a bit better when the sun's out. <sighs> Even if we can't go out at the minute. I'm not going to worry about that, though. Okay. So, I've done my dots, took my deep breath. Let's just slow the pace down a little bit. It's been crazy in here, so I think I do need a little bit of slowing down anyway. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just sort of slightly round off those corners. Only lightly, because you might change your mind, or you might not use it all a little bit later. There we go, so I've got a bit of a, bit of a roundness going on. Oh, that's nice, that tangle friends. <laughs> Okay, so you've got my pen. Let's have a look. So it doesn't matter where we start actually because I'm going to just totally ignore that border that we've just drawn. Uh, here we go. You might want to watch this before you start. Oh, actually, no, I might go in with pencil just for now. Sorry. Here we go. From the top then, and I'm going to do a bit of a swirl. I'll come into a bigger one and then a bit of a swirl there maybe. Come in off at the end okay so so here's my string swirl and off at the end you can see that I'm, I'm sort of towards one side okay reason being I did it in pencil is let's have a look here I'm gonna go in with pen now and I'm gonna draw this first section nice and slowly I'm going to sort of curl that a little bit more because then here I'm going to stop because I want to aura that line and I want it to look as though that first little curl there is going underneath that one if we'd done it in pen you wouldn't be able to do this you see so there and I'm just stopping there so I've got that little gap let's bring that back through a look there we go and round and into there okay. oh, I was a bit late Bridget as well so <laughs> don't worry about it my camera stand fell over <laughs> my husband's tittering away in the background there we go. where's this going oh, in there look and under there there we go so we've got a bit of a double sort of line you can see where I've started and it's gone over there underneath then over then under then over then under All right, I'm just gonna give you a little little while to just sort of take that in and if you're tangling along at the same time just to get that sorted okay <sighs> Oh, tile eight. 
well done for keeping up. I think some people as well are going back now to tile one and seeing, um, seeing what we did there. And it's nice, I think, sometimes to go back and just watch it again and see what other things you can pick up on. It's, it's great. Um, and while you're all just finishing that, can I just say thank you ever so much for all your support um, from Monday on Creating Crafts. It was, a, it was a real pleasure. And they're working really hard to make sure that you know everybody's safe and everybody's doing what they're supposed to be. But also that we're just keeping in with um, what, we, what we're doing and making sure that small businesses just like myself can, can just keep going. So thank you for that. Okay. So I'm working within one of these little sort of uh, bubbles that we've created here. And I'm going to start from this point. And I'm going to create myself a little bit of a sort of gap there. And then I'm going to go ahead and colour that one in. There we go. I must admit though, I'm, I'm sort of glad we're focusing on the drawing today. And uh, I don't have to be on camera because my hair's sort of a bit sticky up today. I don't know what's happened to it. It's all over the place. But, uh, not to worry. There we go. All right. Oh, thank you, Sally. And on to the next one. Now, you see why I've just sort of moved it along? And in we go. Uh, so I've done that kind of same shape. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in. Go. And again, I'm just going to draw my lines. Hi, Sean. I've still got you on my list to sort out your, your products. I'll get round to it. Just uh, had a busy few days. It's all good, though. It's all good. Here we go. Hi Rita, please you don't need to apologise, you're here now, that's all that matters. We can get the party going now. <laughs> Alright, same again with this one. Just colouring that little bit in now, missed a bit. Yeah. And then I'm just sort of adding in some stripes there. There we go. So let's have a look at that so far. I've got my three and I've got my little bit of coloured in and then I've got some stripes going on. Okay, so far then, so good. Not too bad at all. I'm going to continue sort of working along this line. So I'm going to sort of make it a little bit bigger again. There we go. I'm going to start in this little corner. Now yours might be, well, is going to be a little bit different to mine, but that's okay. I'm just working sort of in this little corner here. Oh, no. Linda needs to get on with it and she's brought a kit, you need to use it or else why buy it? Three, four, you see that? I've done one, two, three, four. And then we're going to do another one sort of here, coming off this one. One, two, three, four. Now if you think, oh, do you know what? I'll actually, oh, I'm actually going to add another one there you want to do just three lines or you want to do more then that's fine two three four sometimes it's nice to uh, count isn't it oh Bridget <laughs> are we all having bad hair days that, that makes me feel better all right <laughs> my husband's pointing at his single hair <laughs> there we go you can see where that's working Okay, so coming on to this next section here, I'm going to sort in the corner again. One, two, three, four. And then one from here. I'm not going too big with these. I'm keeping this sort of aura nice and, uh, nice and neat, nice and close. Three, four. I'm not suddenly going to say that you've got to go back and add something in there. So let's not worry about getting them nice and fine they're just bunched up next to each other just keeping it going there we go and then I'm gonna have one here so they're not all just going in a straight line I'm, I'm having some that are sticking out more than others 
here we go two three four and I'm noticed I'm only on one side of this line yeah I've not touched the other side one two three four just try and make sure that the you know your lines are touching I know mine are always but I'm not I'm sort of looking at it from a distance with a camera in the middle of it so there we go see okay two oh hi Claire hi Garth Garth I did put that little thing in the post yesterday so uh, hopefully you'll get it soon and Lorraine hi Lorraine sure I've, uh, I've signed your pick list as well I think uh, Mr. Hermes is due to come and collect it any time now. Three, four. And you know, if, if there are some I've not got out today, then they'll be out tomorrow. So thank you for your patience. We are working as, as fast as we can to get everything out to you. There we go. And I'm in this one now. So I'm sort of coming towards the end of it. Just counting fours as I go. Ah, it's not Pat. Here we are again, yeah. I quite, I really look forward to it, actually. I think um, it's really nice because we, if we're not careful, we can be quite isolated and you don't really get to speak to people. But this way, even though it's virtually, we, um, we do sort of have a conversation between us, don't we? That's not bad. See, I've, I've not sort of had, got a straight line. I've got sort of like some a bit more than others. See, I might even, just to sort of reiterate that, let's have another one there. Again, at this point, yours is going to be totally different. So please don't don't try and make it exactly the same. <laughs> I need more kits. Honestly, I need more paper. We did have a bit of a panic that we, uh, we'd run out of pens and they arrived this morning. So I'm, I'm truly thankful for my friend Paul who, got, who made that happen for me. That's great. Okay, how are we doing then? You just a few seconds to just finish that little bit. Again, I'm not quite sure of the pace because, um, you know, not having your people in front of me, it's hard to see. Okay, now I'm going to turn my tile. It doesn't really matter which way, whether you have it this way and you work up bank or whether you turn it this way and work down bank. Um, whatever suits you, it's entirely fine. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to start. And now I'm going to work within this border mostly. I would say. So let's sort of start here, and I'm going to create a curvy line, and then I'm going to come back down on myself. Okay. So let's just make that a little bit bigger, and then, in sort of true fashion, I'm going to start at the top here, and I'm going to down the center and then I'm going to split this space with two more lines and this space with two more lines now if you've got a really fine pen say no names Leslie when a zero zero three then you might find that you could put more in there if you've got a thicker one you might not get as many but that's that's fine and I'm just gonna sort of darken up that top end and add a little curl. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, Joe, the dream catcher. Uh, yes, I'm. I'm hoping to as soon as I've got all the orders out for uh, creating craft, which will hopefully be tomorrow. Then, uh, then I'll put them in my shop. My emergency kit's gone back on in there now. I've got some pens, so. Uh, so that's fine. Okay, see, I've got another one there. Look, and I've just gone behind that one. So exactly the same as I did before with the centre and then split it. I'm just going to make that a little heavier and then let's have a curl going that way. Okay. So. Oh, Paul, if you've got a kit now, there's no excuse. Absolutely. Right, where well, we can have another one. 
Oh, sorry, I'm just, I've just read part of Sean's message. You don't have to call me Miss anymore, you really, if you don't want to. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not your tutor anymore. It does make me feel a bit old, though. <laughs> Now, I can't quite see how long that I've known you for, so that's perhaps a good thing, being that I've just mentioned. It makes me feel old. Now, there were good times. I act I loved teaching in school, and I loved having a tutor set. And I'm still in touch with quite a few of you, so it's, it's just lovely to know. There we go. I expect an invite to the wedding, by the way. Okay. Here we go. So I'm, I'm just sort of working my way along here and uh, adding some of these odd shapes there we go putting a little curl on the top all right if you're painting claire does that mean you actually managed to get to paint out of b and q okay so far so good actually I'm, this one here i'm going to see where i've got my border i'm going to put one here as though it's sort of going underneath my border sort of highlighting that because I can I can come round this a little bit later okay I'm gonna have I'm gonna have another one here so I'm not really counting I'm not gonna go all the way along I've just got this little uh, little flourish of these odd sort of shapes there you go. just thicken at the top there and whichever way round you feel that curls coming when it was left over in the garage <laughs> you could have sold that for a lot of money so many people wanting to paint at the minute <laughs> you can't get any right i'm going to stick one here look on this end there we go so same again oh sneak one in there look there we go and a curl and i'm just because i don't want it to be on its own let's just add another one in there okay So far, so good. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to make it a little bit larger now. And I'm going to work in sort of this space here. And you might want to watch this before you sort of dive right in there. I'm going to start and I'm going to come upwards and draw a little sort of bobble on the end. There we go. All right, make it a bit bigger so you can see it. Hi, Leah. Okay. And then it doesn't matter which way we go around, whether you go this way or whether you go this way. It's whatever's more comfortable for you. And we're going to do that aura thing again. So I'm going to aura around that shape. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same again. All and don't worry if you're on catch up. The beauty about these videos is you can just keep going back and checking up and you know doing a little bit as you go. So I've gone one, two, I've done three auras around that one. I'm going to leave it at three. Okay, now this bit's going to blow your mind. Are you ready for this? I'm going to repeat it, but I'm going to go the opposite direction. Whoa being a bit of a rebel and then I'm going to aura again you notice I've done this one a bit bigger this time I don't want it all sort of at the same level I want to move it up a bit there we go now take your time with these auras you know if you've got a bit of a wobble don't worry about it it's part of the characteristics So let's have a look at that so far. Okay, so you see one's quite a lot bigger than the other. So let's bring one in. I'm going to bring one in here, but it's sort of going behind. Almost. But then I'm still going to repeat the auras. One. And the second. And then the third. Will I see that one coming out there? Maybe just a little bit there, see? Okay. Oh, 
this one's nice but it's, it's a nice little it's almost a little landscape isn't it let's do another one that little bubble there on the end oh Sheila no worries you know you've got to do what you've got to do but uh, yeah by all means catch up with us later there's two three okay oh honestly Lorraine now it's don't 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 look at it think about you know we're breaking down the steps each time and everything that I've done here today it's all about auras and um, and lines so don't worry too much about you know where things are gonna uh, go it's not about planning it's just about seeing where it takes you at the time uh, the last thing i want you to do is to stress out over it i'm just following that what i've done with that line see now this one i'm going to come here and i'm going to on purpose in a rebel again look go out of my border there then again i'm going to aura around one two Let's do that bit as well. And then number three. And I can okay, let's have a look at that one. Alright. Then I'll call another one here, but just sort of like hiding behind that one. So you're not gonna see all of it, you're just gonna see little bits. That one I think I'm going to have hiding inside that, uh, that border there. Okay, how many more of these do I want to do? It's quite, I think I need one sort of here because otherwise I've got, I've, I've got a bit of a gap, haven't I? And I've got a few of these here and here, a few of them there and there. So let's sort of bring this together a little bit. Let's have a smaller one. Let's put it in there, look. Oh, Julie, yes, I do. John is over on the other side of the room, machining stencils as we speak. He's, uh, he's keeping me, my stocks up so I can then pack everything that, we, <laughs> that you ordered. I think there's only um, the two of us in. It's, it's been quite busy. But it's okay. He keeps making me cups of tea, so it's all good. I've got this bit of it. Oh, Michelle, the dream catcher. Honestly, it's a little bit bigger than these, but if you imagine it as a tile, but it's a little bit bigger, and you work on small sections in one go, so maybe you you try a feather first, or maybe you think, I'm just going to do the outside shape, or I'm just going to try the rose. Just do those little bits and do it. Follow the steps. And honestly, before you know it, You'll um, you'll find that suddenly it's it's coming to life before your very eyes. Actually, yeah, that bee is not. Oh, it is. Do you know how to use the blending tool? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. The blending, the the torchion. I I think I use it on all of the videos. I am going to use it on this one in a minute. So if you, I say in a minute, maybe ten minutes. But if you, if you, you know, you keep in with us then. I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got enough. I've got enough of these, I think. So let's have. Um, we can have a line coming up through here. And up here, and I'm going to put a bubble on the end. You see, now this is not a bubble. It's more of a bobble. It's like a little droplet almost, isn't it? Okay. Oh, Sheila, honestly, watch it. Watch it back in a little bit. Don't don't panic. So I'm never quite sure about the pace. So I, I do my best when I can't see people. So I don't know how fast or slow to go. But of course, then there's a lot I want to get through. So yeah, um, it's one of those things. Okay, so you see the bubble here. Now I've put this sort of half a bubble, and then I've aurad again. So a very repetitive. You've got little bubbles going on and lots of auras. 
So now this time, this sort of little droplet here, I'm going to create one, two, three, four. Okay, make that a little bit bigger so you see what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to do another one of these in a minute, so don't, don't worry about it. Okay, so from the point here, I'm going to come round, just put a little kink in. See, I'm turning it as I go, just because muscle memory suggests that if you do it in the same way each time. There we go. You see there? I've just missed a bit. Right, let's have a look at that a little bit further out. Okay. If I follow that stem up and then bring it out a little bit and then a bobble on the end, but this time I'm going to colour that bobble in same this way so it's almost like it's little extra bits they are not quite opened yet all right so here we go let's have another one of those so this time i'm going to go in here no actually no i'll bring so i want you to see what i'm doing i'll bring one in here look not so high up and a bobble okay so that uh, Let's make that bigger so you can see exactly what I'm doing there. So there's that little bobble. So I'm coming a bit further down and putting a little bump on. And then an aura or a line around it. And then this sort of shape here, I'm going one, two, three, four. Now, if you find you can get five in there, that's fine. Go for five or six or only three. It's, an, it, it's fine. And from the point, curve. From the point, curve. From the point, from the point. Okay. So let's have a look there. All right. So let's add a couple more of those in then. Now then I don't want them sort of be, to all be mirrored. I want them to look a bit different and at different heights. So let's let's throw one in here. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you, Joe. You have done a really good job with that dream catcher. It does look lovely what you've done. I think sometimes it's a little bit of confidence, isn't it? It's just just have a go. Uh, and take your time with it. See here, look, I'm gonna gonna get five in there. Look, all right. Uh, from the point and down each time. There we go. Then here I'm gonna add in. Oh, it's that one there. Look, little stem there. Colour that in. Might have a little one there. Look. Got this really wild sort of landscape going on, haven't we? Yeah. Okay. So shall we? Let's have, let's have one. One coming in here. So it's not as curved this time. I'm just trying to sort of work within that border. My decision now is: do I go out of the border or do I stay in? Let's have a look. I'm going to go out. There we go. Three. Curve and round, so from the point round, and then let's have one of them. Okay. Now let's see what we think. It's not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. So we've got some little gaps around here, and we've got other things we can sort of add in in a minute. We've got to have to get some zingers in, but I think just let's address these little gaps first, and then. Um, putting bubbles in of all different sizes. Now you see I'm not totally bunching them up together. We're sort of having a little bit of, you know, sort of space between them. They're socially distancing bubbles. But, uh, it means that it gives it a little bit of movement. And you see here where I've got a gap, I've actually gone in and coloured that in, sort of instinctively now. So I'm just going in and just 
filling in as we go. That one there. I think sometimes it just helps to to define out. <laughs> you know what I mean. So it's not too bad. You never know where it's going to go. See, I, although yeah, of course I I plan and I know sort of what kind of things we're going to do, but it, it never sort of has to be the same, and it's never, you know, I, I don't particularly try and copy what I've done before. You see, it's it's nice adding those little um, extra bits in, and I think that's so oh, hi Carol. I think that's what makes it different, is just by. You know, adding your own little touches in there. You see, some of them are just dots. Uh, there's nothing stopping you, you know, going in with a bit of gel pen there and things like that. But let's, you know, I'm just keeping it to, to what we've got here. Okay. So, of course, just to sort of finish this little uh, landscape, we're going to put some zingers in. Now, when I say that, some zingers don't get carried away. And if you're thinking, what on earth is she talking about a zinger? They are pretty addictive. So there's my line, sort of a little dot on the end, okay? And then again, that aura, go round, but I've not quite gone all the way round, you see? And then I'm gonna do it again. But you see, it's now, it's a little bit less each side. And as it works its way, it gets a little bit less each time, so it gets to dots. <laughs> let's just put another one in there so again you're never quite sure which way they're going to go or which angle it depends on uh, how they fit in so let's have one here look so it's sort of almost going behind that <laughs> as if we were yes Catherine I think you're one of the worst culprits there we go that looks like it's going under there. Let's have a look. All right. Just come on, let's go a little bit crazy and have a few in. Let's take this one sort of, you see how it sort of slightly curves? And then let's go, let's have another one. There. And then of course, let's have one of those with a little bobble on. It just sort of, you know, gives it a little bit of a base just to sort of work in. Now I see I've got three here and two there, one in the middle. Do you know what, I think I'm gonna leave it there because if I'm not careful, I have got a high possibility of overdosing on uh, zingers. We don't want that, do we? Okay, so then, um, the border. Now remember, we started with that pencil line uh, earlier on. Now I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna add it. You remember where we curved those those edges. I'm going to curve that edge, see, bringing it all the way around and then curve the edge, bring it down. Now it's going to sort of finish off those bits there and I'm not going to do this bottom section. <laughs> I love a zinc. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that. But what I am going to do it in the, the fact that we've aurored everything else I'm going to come on the inside. You can do the inside or the outside. I'm going to come on the inside and then I'm going to aura that border as well. Just following that slight curve as I'm going around. Just relax with your pen when you're doing this. Just let it do the work. Don't feel you've got to force it. There we go. So you won't quite see that because it's under there. All right. So let's have a look at that. All right, lovely little uh, landscape. So here we go then, let's come to pencil. Uh, I've really pushed the boat out, look, I've actually sharpened it. All right, so where do we start then? Let's start from the beginning and let's go back to this original string or the shape that we created here. And again, I'm not working with the tip of the pencil, I'm working with the side of it. And I'm adding some pencil, just following that line all the way around. I'm not being particularly neat, it's just about 
getting some pencil down okay and then while I'm here on these little sort of shapes we created at the beginning I'm going to go a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom at the bottom bit at the top at the top bit at the bottom okay so in with the tortillon then now again I'm not holding it sort of pointy end I'm holding it at a, a bit more of a sort of a an angle here oh hi Joyce and I'm just ever so gently just going to swirl it out a little bit you see I'm just creating little swirls it's just almost it's starting to pull at the pencil and just giving it the sort of beginnings of some movement so I'm not pressing on I'm just going round ever so gently just with these little swirls working my way round until I get to the other end and then I can come back and now I've got some sort of graphite to play with a bit. I'm just going to go round ever so gently and just pull it out a little bit more. All right, sort of transferring from swirls to straight lines to following the shape, even to a bit of flicking. If you find you've got a line, you just want to break it up, just sort of flick it out a bit. There we go. See, I've not even worried about that original line I drew there. I'm just, just going to leave it. Okay. Let's have a look at that from a distance. There we go. So then I'm just going to go in and just press on that edge a bit more, just to sort of like neaten it up if I need to. Okay, see we've got that slight three dimensions now, haven't we? And that's what we're after. Okay, I'm just going to ever so gently just work that piece of pencil like there and here. I'm not going to go in straight into the middle, I want to leave a little bit of a gap in the middle so it looks like there's light there all the way across, look, just leaving a gap in the middle. There we go. This is where it brings it to life, isn't it? This is where the magic happens you think it's just a pencil and a little bit of a rolled up paper it's amazing what it creates there we go so that's those bits okay so moving on then back in with the pencil and we're coming now to this pattern the one that we did earlier on and what I'm going to do is add some pencil sort of Either, so either side so I'm working on a similar principle here won't get much in there so if you've got almost like a full I'm adding some here look and some here and then some here and some here just working my way around onto each one everyone's going to be a little bit different you might find that you've got to put more one side than the other depending on where you put it but uh, just uh, work your way around. You see, I'm not being again, not being particularly neat with this. See, this one here, I hardly got one, so I'm just going to put ever just a little bit there. Not much at all. Okay. Bits on there. I'll go over to this bit. You see, I've not quite got the other side there, so I'm going to leave that. Little bits. You can always go and add more on if you want to. I mean, even if you and if you have put too much on, you can always go in with, oh, dare I say it, pencil rubber. But you know, it's, it's nice to not have to do that because I think it, you don't want to spoil the effect of having this uh, graphite. Now, you see, I'm just going in and I'm smoothing side by side again, just keeping that bit in the middle, free from any pencil. Just working my way from one to the next. If you want to, this is something you know when you you know you watch back or you do it again. You can really slow down with this bit. Just take your time. Oh, it's going on a board now. You you can't 
wait to show you. Imagine it in colour. Yeah. Look fantastic. Just so happens I've already done one in colour. I'll show you in a little while. Alright, let's have a look at that. Again, see you're starting to get this sort of effect here. And come back and just um, enhance that a little bit in a minute. Look at that. Okay. So pencil again now and now we're working on these sections so I'm going to go a bit bigger there we go. so I'm going to work from the top where I darkened it originally and I'm going to put quite a bit of, uh, of pencil on those top sections a bit there remember put some the other side and then working with these shapes that we did I'm going to just add a little bit you know where it sort of looks like it curves under I'm going to put that familiar little sort of smirk on that one side there so there it is and then here okay and then a little smirk there now, oh, just because I've put mine there, it doesn't mean you have to. It means if you want to, you can put it either side. You can put it down the side. It really, it's entirely up to you. See, this one's right in the background, so I'm going to put a bit on just to give it a bit of depth. I might even, uh, you know, add a little bit on the base there. Just to sort of, there you go, a bit there. Okay. Torty on then. And now here, what I'm going to do, because I put it on one side, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to sort of flick it down. It's almost like I'm, I'm pulling it from one section and just down into the other. Just to give it a little bit of a gradation almost. There we go. Sort of going that one way with it. Again, this is my version. If you wanted to do it, you know, a bit on either side, you could, you know, go with that. See how that looks. I think the trick is, if you if you're gonna do something a bit different, and you do it on one, do it on all of them, and then you've got some consistency going on there. Okay. See this one. Just a little bit of a curve. I'm not going all the way around. And then oh, I'll show you on that one. And then again, just sort of smooth that edge off softening it up a little bit so I'm trying on these little sort of like bubbles in the middle I'm, I'm trying to keep a bit of white of the paper if I can there we go just sort of working my way around that's the thing if you can have a contrast between leaving the paper and uh, adding some graphite you've got a good starting point you've you're on your way to getting this uh, light and shade. Let's have a look at that so far. Let's turn it round. Okay, so you see that needs a little bit more up there. Sometimes, you know, you sort of think, oh, it needs a bit more, and you can go in and you can add it if you want to. Okay. So it's just a, a sort of little... Uh, flowers I say flowers um, I'm not going to put much in um, just maybe a touch in them top bits there I'm not going to touch that I quite like the fact that they are con a contrast to that one oh Janet it sounds like you've had a right afternoon yeah Time for a cup and a relax, I think. Just a bit there. I don't want to, you know, I'm not going to kill it with pencil, just a little bit. And then just smooth it round a little bit. And same with this one. You see, it's not like you've got to worry about where the light's coming from direction you're trying to create something it's just about how you feel with it it's no uh, no big rush in that sense okay one thing I do like to do and uh, 
I know that my colouring class love doing this. <laughs> you know what's coming. All right, so here you go. On my zingers, I'm just going to add a touch on the edge there, look. But I'm also going to bring it off as well. And then down here. Now, if I actually go in now with my tortillon, smooth that a touch. And then give that a bit of a smooth. Let's have a look at that from a distance. So we've got a bit of a drop shadow going on there. So let me show you that again. Just going to add a touch. So it's a little bit offset. Let's just add the line in. Smooth it out. Look at that. Let's do that with the other zingers. A bit of a, a bit of a body, just a little bit underneath. And in there. A little bit. And then that'll be that side. Let's add a couple in with these. You see I'm not directly under, it's sort of a slight like angle. There we go. A bit there. And a bit there. Who said we're not artists? I'm not going to do it with everything. I just think with those, it's nice to sort of have a, a bit of an idea. All right. So looking at our border. Now I'm going to go. I'm going to go inside and outside actually. So you can see again, I've I've sort of dropped my pencil, so it's almost almost flat really. Uh, Joyce, where can you get the tortillons from? Um, they come in various formats and various sizes. You can get them online from places like Amazon, things like that. But, um, I am hoping to, it depends actually, because on my stocks of um, doing some sort of pen pencil pack, because obviously I've got stock of them here, so I'm sure we could sort something there. So again, now you notice as well with your, your tortillons, you can see that, yeah, I've got some pencil mark on there and that's absolutely fine and it will eventually lose its point. So if you look at an original one, hang on, where are we? There we go. Oh, hang on. And now you see here, because I've used it quite a bit, it's not, hang on, it's not as pointed. So I've got a little bit of sandpaper here and just file it off I'm just see brushing it from one to the other but if you've got a nail file works just as well and you can get little sanding blocks but you see here I'm just I've come back to I've come back to a point and it's nice and clean so every now and again it's uh, it does pay to do that and one will last you ages okay so now I'm actually and I'm, I'm pressing on quite a bit here I've got a lot of pencil. I'm just pulling it out. Just turning it as I go. Same around the outside. Turning it round. Okay. Well, sometimes you see where you've still got a bit of a line. Go on in there and just swirl it round a little bit. Oh, Christine, I do my best. I think because it's just you know it's maintaining stock and it's actually finding somebody who will who will work with a small business. You know, not everybody wants you know wants to do that and. Uh, you know, dealing with trade, it's it's really tricky to to get in there. But I keep trying, I keep doing my best, keep working with it. Okay, so here we go. We've got this really weird sort of uh, wacky <laughs> type of landscape. Now, it doesn't mean you have to have it that way. You could have it this way, or you could have it upside down or who's to say it's upside down or it's the right way or the wrong way 
it's entirely up to you but I think what I'm going to do is sign it I'm going to sign it over here I think underneath that So, oh, nice, could be nice to do a sort of a night sky and have that black with some white dots in. But what I do have is I've started my journal page here and you can see that this one that we've just done is there's my little creation there. If I just take it down a little bit, double-ended coloured pencils. Oh, Christine, they are my chameleons. Um, I, I like them because there's a lot of colours and they're all quite compact and they do blend really well actually and the points stay quite nice as well so they're quite nice so there's that one that I've put in photo corners and you can see that on my journal if I work it along a bit I've actually continued it onto my page and then of course from there into a coloured version you can see I've stuck with the same colour I've not worried too much about um, whether I'm going to you know, mix or not but it just shows the difference between one and the other. You see, because that one's, oh, well, I say upside down, that one's that way, and I've got the uh, the border around it, whereas this one I've not put a border on. But you can see I've added this sort of extra pattern here. So let's just have a quick look at that. And you can see once you start with it, it's a series of wavy lines and dots. So if I just show you one, it's all working on here. So it's wavy line and dots. It's almost a bit like um, Morse code. I think I could probably still remember SOS. There we go. And you see I started sort of in the centre here and then I worked my way outwards and worked my way out. I'm not going to go all the way along. I, th I quite like it just in that small section. It just gives it a little bit of something it needs. I might even actually continue some of it down here. Oh, thank you, Christine. It's, um, it's far from finished. But if I show you that way, you can see the whole, hopefully see the whole page. I can't go any smaller. So working from one into the other. This one, I shall probably merge the colors over here and then go into pencil. And it's quite nice to mix and match the two. So there we go um there's our sort of a weird alieny kind of landscape whether you decide to sort of stick with it and use the pencil or whether you want to go into full-blown color and or mix the two it's entirely up to you uh, i hope you've enjoyed that and i hope you know the pace was okay um if not i mean you can go back and watch it and pick up on bits i've tried to keep it today into auras and curves so you can sort of maintain that, that pace. But um, Friday's session, gosh, Friday, it's Wednesday already, yeah? Well, yeah, Friday's session, I would like to use the hexagon to help us with a bit, as a bit of a guide. If you, so if you've not got one, please don't worry about it. It might, though, be worth drawing yourself one in a, a bit of paper or something. And what you're after is the inside and the outside. So just looking at... I move that to one side a minute the sort of thickness there it's about if you look it's about the thickness of my pen so if you can uh, if you can have one of those with you at the ready I say it's just as a guide it's not that we're gonna keep that shape it's just that it's gonna help you uh, when we come to draw the next one it's uh, it's gonna be quite a good one and one you're gonna love you're gonna think oh my word what is she making us do but honestly it's a great one so if you can do that, that, that would be great. And it means that you could sort of work along with me rather than think, oh my goodness, what do I need? At least you're prepared. So it's just going to be this, a tile, pen, pencil, tortillon at the ready as normal. Um, you might want a few coloured pencils if you feel like it. But for now, we'll just, we'll just sort of focus on the fact that we, we did this one. Number 10, so number 11, Friday, 2 o'clock, if you can make it, that would be great. Um, please, again, keep posting what you've done. Show me, your, show me your tangles. If you're struggling with anything, again, ask. And I promise I, I will get to you as soon as I can. Uh, we're, just, uh, we're just doing our best to, to keep going at the minute. Yeah.
my husband's laughing insanely at the other side of the office. <laughs> uh, so please stay safe, um, enjoy it, have fun, and I will see you Friday. Oh, what size is it? Oh, hang on a second. Do we have a ruler over there, John? Yeah, you. Oh, do you know he's... Let me find a tile. Oh, he's got a... Ooh. I can show you on my tile for now, look. That gives you an idea. All right, so you can see sort of the size of that, and then he's given me a 10 metre tape. <laughs> oh, dear. So we're looking from side to side. Just slightly... Slightly smaller than two and a half inches. Uh, say more rounds, okay? And then I say, oh, don't stop. And then I look, you're looking at thickness about a centimetre. But please don't, don't, don't worry too much um, about the size. It's, as long as it fits on your tile and you've got something to work with, there's a little bit of space around the side. That's absolutely fine. So please don't don't panic about it. It's just something you you know you've got to go. You can always draw it freehand. It's only a guide, so don't panic. All right. Anyway, have a have a great day, and I will speak to you all and see you all again on Friday. All right. You take care. Bye.